Loops are used for multiple repetitions of a single task. So for example, if we want to print 10 messages in the console, instead of writing debug.log 10 times, we can use loops. The first loop that I will introduce is called a for loop. And the syntax for the for loop goes like this for and now we write well basically a statement here so we'll just write it down and i will explain what's going on so for int i and usually it goes like this for int i is equal to zero i is less than 10 i plus plus so it will be i plus plus here now what this basically means well here we are creating an integer i which is initially equal to zero and this basically means for int i which is equal to zero as long as that int is less than 10, repeat the loop and execute the code that's, well, here in the loop, and then increment i by 1. So this plus plus means it will increment the value by 1. So basically this is the same thing as if we will say i is equal to 1 plus i. So 1 plus i, not 1 plus 1. So this is basically the same thing. So the shorthand for this is saying plus plus like this. We can also say minus minus. This will sub subtract 1, excuse me, from our variable. So basically this loop will execute 10 times. And here we can say debug.log. So not assert again. So it will be debug.log. And here we can say execute it. And we can append our i to see how many times our loop is executed. Now, if I go back in the Unity editor and run the game, we will see that our loop is executed 10 times. The last number here is 9 because we are going from 0, so it will be from 0 up to 9, including 0. Now here you can also set if it's less than or equal to 10 and this will be executed well 11 times because it will go from 0 up to 10 and the next time it will iterate I will be equal to well 11 which is well not less than or equal to 10 and basically you get my point. You can also change the number here so let's say 100 and this will be executed 100 times. And a for loop is basically primarily used for processing arrays, which we will see a little bit later when we begin or when we introduce, well, arrays. Another loop that we have is called a while loop, and it goes like this. So we say while, and here in these parentheses, what we put needs to evaluate to be true in order for the code that we place here to be executed. Now, in order to write the same loop or using int i as we did for our for loop, we will need to write it like this. So for int i is equal to zero, and here we will say as long as i is less than 10, basically. And here, inside of our while loop, we need to increment i. And now we can simply use our debug.log, and here we can say execute it, and we can append our while well, i. Now, if we go in our Unity editor and try to run this, we will see that it's executed 10 times and we see the number 10 here because we incremented, well, i here before, well, using execute. So we are incrementing i before, but we can simply, well, remove this code and place it below here and we will get it from 0 up to 10. Now, keep in mind that the most common mistakes using a while loop is, well, when you create an infinite loop and that is when this well condition here never gets to be false. So if we remove this i here, so this will be true forever. So as long as i is less than 10, i is 0, and 0 will be forever less than 10, this will be an infinite loop and our program will crash. So just keep in mind that the condition that you place here needs to become false in order for the while loop to stop. And again, I'm emphasizing, keep that in mind because that's the most common mistakes, especially with beginners, that they create infinite loops when they use, well, the while loop. The last loop that I want to introduce is called a do while loop. And the syntax goes like this. So we type do and then we type while. The difference between the two is that the do while loop is executed at least once before performing the condition check right here. But the while loop first performs the condition check and after that it will be executed if that condition is true only. Now if I go back in the Unity editor and try to run this we will see that it will be executed 10 times same as before. But as I said the difference is that first we are executing and then performing a check. So if I say here false which means that our condition is not true but this right here will be executed once. So if I go back 
run it, we will see that it's executed, well, once. And this is the difference between a while and a do while loop. Because as I said, do while loop will be executed at least once. Generally, we are going to use more while loops in our game programming than do while loops, but I just wanted to point out that we also have a do while loop and maybe it can come in handy if you need it.